In this activity, you are presented with a visual model of a simple computer system. Here is a CPU with three registers, R1, R2 and R3. And over here is the RAM. The memory addresses A1 to A5 are used to store data. The instructions that make up your program will be stored in this area of RAM. The sheet of notepaper here, with target RAM written at the top, shows you what your challenge is. You must construct a program that makes the data in RAM identical to the data shown on the target RAM notepaper. So we can see that the first three addresses of RAM should contain a 2, a 5 and a 7. Well, we've already got the 2 and the 5, it's the 7 that's missing. So we need to construct a program using the instructions in our instruction set to solve this problem. Remember, a program is nothing more than a list of instructions for the computer to carry out. Since the ALU can only operate on data which is in its registers, the first instruction we need to use is the load command. This loads data from RAM into a register. To use this instruction, we need to specify the address. We want the data at address 1. Then we need to specify the register we want the data loaded into. So let's choose register 1. Now we can start to build our program by dragging our instruction onto the instruction stack in RAM. The instruction is executed straight away and we can see the information carried by each bus. The system is directed to load the data at address 1, so we see the data bus carrying the number 2 to the CPU where it ends up in register 1, as per our instruction. Next we want to issue another load instruction, but this time we want the data at address 2 to be loaded into register 2. Now we've made the instruction, we can drop it onto the instruction stack. So we're saying to load the data at address 2, which is the number 5, into register 2. Now we have some data in the registers, the ALU is able to operate on it. Remember, the ALU performs arithmetic and logic operations on data in the register. So we can now issue this command, which instructs the ALU to add the contents of register 1 to register 2 and store the result in register 3. So now when we drag the instruction onto the instruction stack, we can see it getting executed and we end up with a 7 in register 3. The last command we need to issue to complete the challenge is the store command. The store command allows us to store the contents of register 3 into a memory address in RAM. For our problem, we need to select address 3. Now we've made our instruction, let's drop it onto the instruction stack. So this time the information on the buses is saying to store at address 3 the data 7. And there we are, we've done it. If you manage to solve the problem with the minimum number of instructions, you'll get 3 stars. If you use more instructions, you'll begin to lose stars. At this point you can either press the blue button to see your completed program running from the very beginning or you can press the pink button to move on to the next challenge. The questions do get harder so good luck.